back to Chasing Adventures, and thanks to all your comments and your support on my last camping trip video, my wife has agreed to let me go on more camping trips, so thank you guys, I appreciate every single one of you. And plus it's a win-win situation because I get to go on more camping trips and you guys get to enjoy my camping videos, so it worked guys. <laughs> And today, me and Pepper are heading over to Nachi's Pass and we're going to be dispersed camping overlooking Mount Rainier. And I'm going to test out my new Thule Foothill rooftop tents along with some other camping gears that I acquire. So I'm really excited for this camping trip. And let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about uh, rooftop tents. Do you guys prefer rooftop tents over ground tents, vice versa, and why? Because I actually had a rooftop tent long before it was even popular, but I got rid of it. And I want to see if my reasoning matches with some of you guys. And plus, it'll be helpful information when I make a review video of the Tule Foothill rooftop tent. And I'll explain why I sold it in first place and why I repurchased it in that video as well. Anyways, but for now, let's go camping. All right guys, so I made it to the top and right behind me is Mount Rainier. And I kind of got lost on the way here, so I, I'm running a little behind. And also there was someone here before me, but he didn't stay too long and he left uh, shortly after I got here. So um, before it gets dark, I'm gonna set up the camp. All right, so let's do that first.
Well guys, camp is pretty much all set up. Next, I had to set up my kitchen, but this is pretty much it. And look at the location that I am. I, I love this place. <laughs> the, the remoteness and the isolation that I'm getting here is just fantastic. And I could really relax here and just have a nice uh, camping experience. And while I was setting up my camp, a couple of Jeep people came up here and they stayed around a little bit and they took pictures and admired this beauty. But one of the guys told me um, something that was cool. He said that if it takes you all day to get to a place, there's already a Subaru there. <laughs> and I'm here, right, with the Subaru. <laughs> so that was very cool. And the camping gears that I'm testing out today is the Thule Foothill rooftop tent. And as you saw, it's not as quick and easy as setting up a uh, hard shell rooftop tent where you just unlatch a couple of hooks and you just pop it open. You have your tent set up, you know. Uh, it does take a little bit of time, but this tent has its own uniqueness. And I'll explain why I got this tent in my future review video. And next is this camping table and the chair set by Mission Mountain. And they were kind enough to send me their sets for me to test. And from my testing, this table is very sturdy. It's not as quick and easy as setting up some other camping tables, but it comes at a cost because those tables are kind of flimsy and they wobble around a little bit. But I placed my um, heavy power station and it, it's holding and it's pretty sturdy. So I, I like this table. And this chair is very comfortable too. And another benefit or cool thing about this table and the chair set is that it's actually height adjustable. So you could actually take the legs out, both the chair and the table, and be really low to the ground if you wanted to. Or you could have this at this regular seating position, or let's say you want to be higher above, or you have a quad chair that sits higher, you could actually extend the legs of this table and the chair and be higher above the ground or match with your quad chair sitting height. So this is very cool. And next is the mattress by King Camp. And this is their premium line, which I specifically asked for this mattress because I wanted to replace the mattress that comes in a Thule Foothill rooftop tent. Because the mattress, or should I say foam, <laughs> in the rooftop tent is only two inch thick, but it's a hard, dense foam. And I like to sleep in a plush mattress. And since this being a four inch self-inflating mattress, you could actually adjust the firmness so I would have more comfortable sleeping experience with this mattress so first let's go ahead and set this mattress in the rooftop tent and set up my kitchen and i'll be back
So we just had our dinner and we're sitting in front of the fire and it is very nice to have a quick and easy fire going that warm you up quickly. And I know it's not the same as burning wood that would, you know, with that crackling noise and just the atmosphere that you get and the smell of the fire, but it is kind of getting windy here and then I didn't want any embers to fly over and cause any forest fire. Um, so I brought my lava box and it is warming us up very quickly. And I just had my dessert, which was my leftover birthday cake from yesterday, because yesterday was my birthday and my wife brought home my favorite cake. So I brought some leftovers, had that. And I wanted to actually enjoy the view, but it got dark pretty quickly. So um, we're just going to sit by the fire and warm ourselves up before we hit the bed. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning guys and well last night was pretty intense we had a lot of strong violent gusts of wind coming through so in the middle of the night i have to come down and reset the tarp and retention the guy line and the tarp is holding up pretty okay for now <laughs> but the tent itself was just perfectly fine and i think because of the material that the tent is made with um, it was blocking all the wind so I was, I was able to stay really warm inside the tent and the mattress was just pure heavenly and because it has 9.5 R value, I was able to stay really comfortably and warm while I was using that mattress. So very good. And another camping gear that I wanted to mention is this camping lantern by Claris. This is a CL2 model. And as you can see, it articulates into all directions. So if you're hanging it, um, you get a surrounding light, very bright light. And it has this point where you could screw onto a tripod like I did last night and you could really set it up there and it'll illuminate the whole surrounding so I'm really digging this. It also has a power bank function with the USB-C charge port so you could charge your device with this. So thank you Klaus for sending one out for me to test and this is very nice. I'll be using this a lot in my camping trip now. And if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far, please give me a like and hit that subscribe button and I don't care what anybody says but I think the wind is camper's worst nightmare because I could actually deal with the heat, cold, or the rain, but the wind, it makes everything that much more worse. And it's currently 44 degrees, but because of the wind, it actually feels much colder than that. But I've been in a worse situation before, so um, I'm still enjoying this. But um, before the wind picks up, I'm going to have quick breakfast and pack everything up and be on my way home. Oh, and Pepper's in the car because he does not like the wind. <laughs> Well guys, car is all packed and ready to go home. And despite the windy condition that I encountered, I actually had a great time here. 
and now I'm in the cloud. <laughs> so I want to thank every single one of you for tuning in today, and I can't wait till I see you guys again on my next camping trip. So until next time, keep chasing adventures, and bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.